This is Smiles TV. the best community affairs broadcast in the land, Smiles TV. And we have the best person to be our second guest on a Skype interview, our new normal because of COVID-19. Jackie Joyner Kersey, the world's greatest female athlete, is here with us today via Skype. This broadcast is sponsored by the United States Bureau of the Census. You need to be counted. Everybody in your household needs to be counted. Please, you can go online, fill out the form that com comes to your house, but you need to be counted in the decennial 2020 census. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Stay tuned for more smiles. Hi, I'm Jackie Joanna Kersey, born and raised in East St. Louis. I want to talk about the 2020 census, why it's important to you and to all of us. The data that they collect, it has an impact on our community, where funds go, uh, how our schools can be better, our park districts, everything around us. When they're talking about giving funds, stand up and be counted. When that um, information come in the mail, fill it out. Everyone that's standing in the house, make sure you put their name down there. This is not a way that they're going to be uh, following you or anything. This is the way for we all can be counted and our city can remain a city. When in need of residential and commercial construction projects from roofing, siding, flooring, including all interior carpentry, painting, and more, you need a company that is efficient, effective, and professional. A company that will complete the job on time. You need On Time Contracting Incorporated. On Time Contracting provides quality work completed in a timely manner. Oliver McDowell, founder and owner of On Time Contracting, is insured and bonded and provides an array of services for residential and commercial facilities. Contact On Time Contracting for your many residential or commercial construction, roofing, cleaning, or other needs at 618-567-3591. That's 618-567-3591. On Time Contracting Incorporated. Your project can indeed be completed on time. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census gives communities across America the chance to get the funding they need. But there's a catch. The money is based on counting an accurate number of residents in each state. The fewer people we count, the less money Illinois gets. In Illinois, we deserve our fair share, and it starts with all of us being counted. Visit my2020census.gov or text 987-987 to learn how you can fill out the census today. Welcome back to Smiles TV. We're sitting here with the greatest female athlete of all times, Jackie Joyner Kersey from East St. Louis, Illinois. Let me just read this for you so you can just get a, a, a bit of an understanding of the greatness that's coming before you. Jacqueline Joyner Kersey is an American retired track and field athlete ranked among the all-time greatest athletes in the heptathlon, as well as long jump. She won three gold, one silver, and two bronze Olympic medals in those two events at four different Olympic Games. Who does that? Jackie <laughs> Joyner Kersey does. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Stephanie. How are you doing? I am Glad blessed. to join you. I am blessed, Jackie. Thank you so much for joining us on Smiles TV. And you look great. You got on your USA jacket. The background looks like Lincoln High School. I got on black, <laughs> orange and black trying to represent Lincoln, although I was a flyer. I know. <laughs> you know, it's a combination of uh, both, you know. East yes, St. Louis, East Side, Lincoln, USA. We're all in this together. That's right. We are all in this together. <laughs> Jackie, how are you holding up during this um, lock-in, this shutdown, or whatever you want to call it? You know, uh, 
it takes a, a little adapting, you mm -hmm. know, and not sure about, you know, the uncertainty, uncertainty that we're faced with, but uh, doing everything I possibly uh, can do and encouraging others to, you know, to practice social distancing and doing what we can. But then also uh, during this time, you know, you find yourself uh, being isolated, but call and check on, up on your loved ones. And those of you that have not been able to have uh, family gatherings, you, you're having more of those and you're learning more and more about each other that you thought you knew everything. But, you know, so it's a challenge, but this is what we're dealt with. And uh, and eventually this too shall pass. That's right. That That's that's actually absolutely true, Jackie. Jackie, just to... Um give our viewing audience a little background. You know, we know each other, we go way back, but but tell us a little bit about your childhood and what led you to um, want to go into the track and field arena? So I, I grew up in East St. Louis in the south end of town, and I was very fortunate uh, to have the Mary Brown Community Center. And at the Mary Brown Community Center, I was exposed to, you know, not only uh, the arts and craft, the, li the library, working with a librarian, uh, working with the administrators who uh, worked on the other side of the recreation portion of, of the center, uh, being able to play basketball, cheerleader, track in it. And it was track that I uh, fell in love with uh, running in that in Lincoln Park, you know, that big, big park. Now, you know, if you go out there, you, you don't even see the, the, the dirt, the gravel that was out there you know, or the cinders that we were able to run on in the park. And, you know, so you just see the fields now. But for me, even uh, traveling back and going to the uh, South End, it brings back memories because that was the beginning, being able to work with Percy Harris, who was the executive director at the Mayor Brown Center, who introduced all of us to sports. And, and it was something that I love doing. I love running. I love having fun. And I really wasn't one of the best girls, but... Uh, the passion was there and it, it, it gave me, uh, I don't know, like the like you were just free doing something that you love doing, but not knowing that it, it would take me to Olympic Games and be able to do the things I have been blessed to do athletically. Wow, that's right. You mentioned Lincoln Park. Do you remember when I beat you <laughs> running out there? <laughs> you laughing. <laughs> Uh, oh, you don't remember that, huh? I can't remember. No. <laughs> yes. Well, Jack, you know, it, it, you know, you were, hey, but you know were, what? You As know, you know, I'm you're Roma. you're I'm a couple Roma. you're a couple of years younger than I am. So, like, if you were five, I might have been ten. Okay. <laughs> but no, I, I tell uh, that joke. I tell that joke to a lot of people, and they're like, "You'd never be Jackie Jones." I say, "Yes, I did. Yes, I did." I don't tell them how old I was. Yeah. But um. You know what, we need to take a quick break, and um, we're actually going to show a clip of you supporting the upcoming 2020 census. We'll be right back, and we're going to continue this conversation okay. when we come back. Don't go away. Stay tuned for more smiles. Every person who doesn't fill out the census means less money for Illinois. That's money we could use for new school programs to help our children thrive and succeed, for paving roads and ensuring more reliable public transportation and for improving our hospitals and clinics so everyone gets the best health care. In Illinois, we deserve our fair share. Visit my2020census.gov or text 987-987 to learn how you can fill out the census today. And what home rule means is if we drop below 25,000 people, we become governed by the county. Basically, we become, instead of the city of champions, we become the village of champions. That is the reason why we are facilitating such a important program as the census. We're talking about $675 billion. We're talking about hard to serve, hard to count, underserved communities. And we need to do our part to get our friends and our neighbors involved, okay? So if you're wondering what you can do, you can spread the word. Hi, I'm Christopher Bell, State Senator for the 57th District. And I'm LaToya Greenwood, State Representative for the 114th District. We count because you count. Believe it. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, I'm Jackie Joanna Kersey, born and raised in East St. Louis. I want to talk about the 2020 census, why it's important to you and to all of us. The data that they collect, it has an impact on our community, where funds go, uh, how our schools can be better, our park districts, everything around us. When they're talking about giving funds, stand up and be counted. When that um, information come in the mail, fill it out. Everyone that's standing in the house, make sure you put their name down there. This is not a way that they're going to be uh, following you or anything. This is the way for we all can be counted and our city can remain a city. We're back and thank you for staying with us. We're talking with Jackie Joyner Kersey, the world's greatest female athlete. Uh, Jackie, as a matter of fact, that term was coined by whom? The world's greatest female athlete. You know, uh, during the multi-events, uh, heptathlon is the event I competed in, and the men decathlon. And whenever uh, the decathlete won the Olympic Games or won that event, they were considered the world's greatest uh, male athlete. And so the female uh, counterpart of that is the heptathlon. So when I broke the world record or won many titles and uh, they start calling me the world's greatest female athlete, I'm not exactly sure where it came from, but, you know, I take it in stride and uh, understand that, you know, it took a lot of work. You know, I didn't do this on my own and my team, my coaches and uh, have really helped me uh, during that time to become one of the best athletes in the world. You know, mentioning coaches, and every time I talk with you, we have to talk about Nino Fanoi. Yeah. Um, he, I, I, I talked with Don Harper in another interview, and we both agree, and I'm sure you will, that he's the world's greatest coach. Yes. I, I w you know what? I think uh, Coach Fanoi is uh, one of the world's greatest coaches. You know, I'd be remiss because uh, him and my husband both you know, are in there. And But the great thing about uh, my relationship with Coach Fanoi and uh, Bobby's relationship with Coach Fanoi is that Coach Fanoi uh, really saw the potential in all of us. And he wasn't one of those coaches that didn't believe uh, allowing you to go on and learn from someone, someone else. So when I got ready to graduate from high school, he said to me, I have taught you all I can teach you. Now it's time for you to go and learn from someone, someone else because he saw that ability in me and I didn't know. And, and so uh, Coach Fenoy, is, he, he, to me, he's more than just a coach. You know, he's always been a father figure. He's uh, now, I can say he's a, he's a friend, you know, and uh, he's a community activist, but, uh, pro, uh, but very, uh, uh, well, well, I guess I want to say progressively, a progressor in thinking, mm -hmm. you know, about the different things that, we could do as young girls when we didn't know uh, what our abilities were on and off the field. So I, I, I just love uh, his spirit and everything he did for me, continue to do for me, but then also laying a, a foundation for the young ladies that are coming through uh, the East St. Louis Railers program, eventually going on to the high school program and, and running in, but more importantly, seeing them go off and, get an education and teaching them all about finding ways to come back and give back. And, and speaking of giving back, Jackie, and I must admit this personally and professionally, just watching you, you have, ever since um, you became an Olympian, uh, an Olympic champion, you have always come home. You started off just coming home, speaking to people and, and just being just genuinely kind. But you opened up a, a center, the, we call it the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center. It's the foundation now, I guess it's the official name. You are giving back and you are doing for the community what no other has done. What are some of the things that are going on at your center? Well, Stephanie, thank you for that because it was the Mary Brown Center that opened my eyes to uh, the possibility that uh, something of having a center, you know, as a nine year old, not really sure where my path was going to take me, but being blessed to be around people who share my vision, who share my mission to help me 
build that community center in East St. Louis. And so having the center allow us, you know, not allow us, what we do is that we, we do after school programming. You know, we have transportation to the schools. We pick them up, pick our students up, bring them to the center. Uh, once they come in, they go into uh, what we you know, we feed them, you know, a hot meal. You know, we do the enrichment. We also have turned my autobiography, a kind of grace into a character and leadership curriculum called Winning in Life. So those 14 different principles that I applied to myself when I was uh, coming through, but we're still using those principles in trying to help young people to be the best that they could be. And so whatever field you decide you want to go in, that you would have the confidence, you would have the courage, you know, you understand what risk taking means, you know. So this has just been threaded throughout everything that we do at the JJK Center. That not some people see it. Well, I want more and more people to know about this curriculum. I want it throughout all the schools mm -hmm. in our district, but then also uh, throughout the nation because it's, it's, it's beyond character and leadership. It's just so much, uh, I, I think, so many tools that can help young people be uh, the best beyond the athletic field, but be a, be a great human being. Wow, wow, that is excellent, Jackie. So this for me, tell me about some of the um, toughest times, or maybe not a lot of things, but maybe give me one of your toughest periods of time in your life, and how did you overcome it? You know, I, I think for me, uh, when I reflect back and, and, and think about growing up in East St. Louis, you know, it was the norm. You didn't realize you were in an underserved community. You didn't, li you didn't realize you lived in a food desert. You didn't realize that you didn't have everything that someone else had, you know, but you may do, you, you know, for me, but focus on what I could control and not worry about the things I couldn't control. But I think uh, being, di being uh, diagnosed with asthma mm. was really tough to deal with because I didn't find that out until I was a freshman in college. And I was afraid they were going to take my scholarship away mm. because there were times when I couldn't breathe and, and I'm running to the restroom trying to catch my breath, not fully understanding that I could have had an attack you know, and, and, and could have lost my life because I just didn't know. So I had to educate myself, but you know, you, 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 you live in a community where, yeah, you, you, you see the violence, you see the crime, you, you see the drugs, but you also see hope and you get inspiration from a lot of people in that community that see the good in you. Right. Maybe they didn't uh, go down the right path, but it was always encouragement from the people of the community of East St. Louis that you can be anything you want to be as long as you put your mind to it and you work hard. And that's why I love my community. That's why I, I, I come back. I tell people that there are great people in East St. Louis. And that's what I mean when I'm saying great people, because no matter what we dealt with or what we were surrounded with, there were always encouragement that you can be the best as long as you're willing to work hard. Mm -hmm. Wow, Jack. And you, you, said it all right there because I've always thought and wondered how a community so small, so black, so poor can produce such greatness. And you are an, an example of that greatness. You're one of the pearls that come out oh. of that pressurized <laughs> cooker because um, I got that from Eugene Redman. I heard him say that one day um, that that's why we're so great because there's so much pressure and it, it just gets all the dross off wow. of us. But I want to thank you, Jackie. Um, there was a couple other things I did want to share. You know what? We didn't talk about your basketball. A lot of people don't know that you, you <laughs> were very, very good at playing basketball. Oh. Yes. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, the late uh, Pancho Hamilton has uh, gone on, but Pancho was very instrumental in uh, summer basketball, then Coach Riggins and you know, but we, basketball was really taught me a lot about team sport, working together. And but I knew in my heart I wanted to run track. I wanted to make the Olympic team, you know, in track and field, because when I was 14, I saw the 76 Olympic Games and it started to make sense, you know, because and when we ran in the park, we never ran in lanes. We just ran, right, you know, right. and when we would go to different meets, you know, we were always go, oh, this track is bigger, not knowing that every track is the same 
length and size is 400 meters. But we're like, oh, this one is much bigger. <laughs> but you know what? You couldn't put the you couldn't put the lanes on that cinder track. <laughs> exactly. You know, and that's the you know the great thing about uh, being uh, in a sport that you love. But then also basketball gave me an opportunity. I my scholarship to UCLA was in basketball, but I never lost uh, the foresight of wanting to make the Olympic team in track and field. Hmm. How is Al doing? And for those of you who don't know, she has a brother who's also an Olympic champion, Al Joyner. How is Al doing, uh, Jackie? You know, Al is doing extremely well. He's uh, coaching out at the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista, California. You know, uh, he had several athletes that have done it extremely well. You know, uh, unfortunately, the, the time that we're dealing with this, uh, coronavirus and uh, the Olympics being delayed, mm. you know, and I, and I hope it's just uh, a, a, a delay, you know, because I know how hard these athletes train and, and, and you're not one to put uh, something like the Olympics over a pandemic, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's unfortunate the times that we're dealing in. So right now he's doing well, uh, uh, working with his athletes, communicating with them the best way they possibly uh, can with, you know, practicing the social distancing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, that's my brother. I love him. And, you know, maybe we have to get him on this show as well. We do. <laughs> and you know what? Actually, COVID-19 or coronavirus is opening up more doors because I never wanted to do Skype interviews. And um, so God has put this thing in place. And, and so we can get Al now. He doesn't have to come home to interview. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. And that would be great. Well, Jackie, any um, other lasting words of encouragement or anything that we did not talk about that you want to make sure our public gets an opportunity to hear from from you about? You know, what? I, I just want to thank you uh, today to have this uh, medium. But I also want to encourage people once again about the 2020 census to make sure that you stand up and be counted. Count everyone. Put it every last one of those individuals that's in your home on that list because it will have impact. It allow our communities to receive funding and allow us to have better schools, allow us to have better parks, you know, allow us to have infrastructure, just all the things that a community and a city would need, but you have to be counted. Just know that this is not something that they're searching for, trying to right. take something from you. Mm -hmm. No, this is something that we all deserve. We all deserve to have a better community, a better city. But it's left up to all of us to do what we have to do. Fill those uh, the census paper out, you know. And there is a website. I'm sure Stephanie can give you. Okay. But more importantly, when it comes in the mail, don't toss it and say, "Oh, this is not important." It's just as important as you getting out there to vote. That's right, Jackie. That's right. And and you've said that so eloquently. Well, I want to thank you for your participation and your support of the Census Bureau and and people yes. being counted. Because, you know, as a matter of fact, programs for lunches and, and, and things like that are based on census data. So people have to be counted. And our city, the city of East St. Louis, could possibly lose its title of being a city if we don't have enough within the community who um, yes. participate in the census. So I want to thank you again. And um, what's the best broadcast in the world? Just say Smiles TV. Smiles TV. <laughs> Best broadcast in the world. That's right. I'm going to start doing that to people. You know, you're the first one I did that to. Thank you, Jackie. I want to thank you, too, for tuning in to Smiles TV, the best broadcast in the world. And I really want to thank the world's greatest female athlete, Jackie Joyner Kersey. You guys, we got greatness right here before us. Jackie. Jackie, thank you again. Smile TV, the best in the world, coming from East St. Louis. That's right. Thank you. Oh, that's I might have to take that little piece out and use it. <laughs> Remember, I want you, if you will, download the On Point Network app. Download the P. Chapman Network app. You can watch Smiles TV on those platforms. Those are worldwide platforms that you can get with your Fire Stick on Roku. Um, Amazon, PlayStation, and things, uh, many other platforms. 
So download us and you can see us all over the world anytime you want to. We're also on Dynasty Television, which is streamed live too. And we're in the St. Louis market, the East St. Louis metropolitan area as well. Thank you again for watching Smiles TV. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last. Jesus is the Lord. The Lord be magnified. Keep smiling. Every person who doesn't fill out the census means less money for Illinois. That's money we could use for new school programs to help our children thrive and succeed, for paving roads and ensuring more reliable public transportation, and for improving our hospitals and clinics so everyone gets the best health care. In Illinois, we deserve our fair share. Visit my2020census.gov or text 987-987 to learn how you can fill out the census today. When in need of residential and commercial construction projects from roofing, siding, flooring, including all interior carpentry, painting, and more, you need a company that is efficient, effective, and professional. A company that will complete the job on time. You need On Time Contracting Incorporated. On Time Contracting provides quality work completed in a timely manner. Oliver McDowell, founder and owner of On Time Contracting, is insured and bonded and provides an array of services for residential and commercial facilities. Contact On Time Contracting for your many residential or commercial construction, roofing, cleaning, or other needs at 618-567-3591. That's 618-567-3591. On Time Contracting Incorporated. Your project can indeed be completed on time. The Smiles Television Talk Show wants to showcase your business, organization, church, and activities. If you have an interest in being a guest on Smiles Television Talk Show, or if you have any show ideas, contact Stephanie Anthony Miles at smilestv777 at gmail.com. You may also call 618-741-3770. Tell your friends to subscribe to the Smiles YouTube channel. Let Smiles TV increase your reach. Remember, you look better with smiles. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Image a nation. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs>